Got low rank in KCT 2025 examination and are you afraid that your dream college is sleeping off? Hold on, this video might change everything for you. So sometimes it is not the rank that decides our future, but it is the mindset and the strategy that makes all the difference. So yes, you heard me right. You can grab the best colleges even with a low rank. The only thing is you need to play your cards in a right way. So in this video, I'll be sharing some clever option entry strategies and practical tips that will help you to make the best of the worst situation. So yes, you please watch the complete video and make your option entry following these tips so that you can get the best possible college in your rank range. So yes, the answer here Low rank, do not worry, you can get the top colleges and yes, how will you get that? By following these steps that I am talking about now. So first of all, let us understand what is a good college means. Okay, so the good college is not only the top colleges that we see in the list. Okay, it is in our case, it is not only the RV college, it is not only MSRIT or BMS or PES. Okay, there are hundreds of good colleges. And how do you define a good college? A good college is where we have good faculty, placement uh, facilities are good, infrastructure and branch strength is good, right? These all comes under good colleges and we don't need to consider only the top five colleges as good colleges okay that's the first thing some tier two colleges uh, have excellent departments for certain branches you need to explore them i'll give you certain examples here for example siddhaganga institute of technology located in tumkur here we have great placement in crew core branches like civil mechanical eee so you know civil and mechanical uh, demand is somewhat going down but still in a tier 2 college like uh, sit there are great placements in these branches next you have good reputation their cutoff is moderate so students with lower ranks can also get into these colleges a second example is jss science and technological university okay here also located in uh, mysore it has excellent placements in computer science and information science and also it has good campus and academic environment there are certain colleges which are having very good academic uh, records they are well accredited with vtu and they have good academic results as well okay so you need to first get out of this mindset that the top five colleges are only good colleges others are not okay so please first change this mindset second thing yes focus on allied courses in good colleges so we know that computer science is a top branch it has a high cutoff i will not be able to get that because my rank is low but what about why don't we consider some allied options you know there are hundreds of branches now computer science with cyber security computer science with uh, business system with iot information science electronics and communication there are so many branches whose cutoffs are lower they're not as high as computer science and you can target those branches. So for example, uh, in any college, okay, so you can see here the computer science cutoff is 1200 and you can see that the cutoff for, uh, yes, AI, artificial intelligence is 1800. 18,000, 12,000 and 18,000, a difference of 6,000 is there. So student might not be able to get into computer science, but can definitely get into artificial intelligence if the rank falls in this range. So the point is don't just get stick to one branch that I want only computer science. You have to diversify, you have to check similar options. You may not be getting same options, but you can definitely explore similar options. Information science, EC, these are all tech related branches. So you can definitely consider them. Okay. Next is making a strong option entry list. This is very, very important. And this is what the whole game will change if you make, if you master this particular art of making the option entry. So first of all, you should be at least adding 100 plus options. If you are having lower rank, then you should not take any risk. Rather, you should be adding 100 plus options. Okay, 100 plus means I can say at least 150 to 200 you can add. Next, you should divide into three types the your 
option entry should consider three types of colleges. One is your top colleges, mid colleges and backup colleges. Top colleges are those colleges whose cutoff is very high. You will not be getting that. But still, don't remove them from the option entry. Keep it as a, a hope, as a luck. Somehow you may get. So please keep those options in the option entry. Second, you have mid colleges. Means those colleges whose cutoff and your rank is having a difference from between 5 to 10,000. For example, if your rank is 80,000, so the colleges whose cutoff is from 65,000, okay, to 79,000, okay. So these are your mid colleges, okay. These are your safer options. You will somehow when it upgradation is happening in the round one, round two, there are chances of getting into these colleges. Next is backup colleges, which you will definitely get. So you have to add those colleges whose cutoff is 81k to almost 1 lakh. Right? You can get into these colleges by op entering these options or uh, by making a list of these colleges. Okay, So like this you should have three types of option enter three types of list clear. Next so to get an idea of how to make the option entry you have to use the last year cutoff data very smartly and to help you with this we have prepared a lot of videos in our channel you can see we have made this video this series will be very helpful for you we have made uh, 10,000 to 25,000 uh, bottle colleges are there 25 to 50,000 is there 50,000 to 75,000 is there then you have 75 plus call 75 to 1 lakh and 1 lakh to 2 lakh. So you can just check all these five videos whichever rank your college is falling just check them and make a list of colleges from here you will get a clear idea okay. Next we'll talk about look beyond Bangalore see generally the colleges in Bangalore definitely have a high cutoff because of its location but there are certain very good colleges which are not located in Bangalore but have well very good placement infrastructure facilities as well as faculties so you can also consider those options which are not located in Bangalore I'll give you certain examples like NIE Mysore SDMC that is Sri Dharmasthala Manjunathishwara College of Engineering and Technology in Dharwad, one of the top colleges. You have BIET in Davangiri. You have next SIT in Tumkur. Right. So look beyond Bangalore if your rank is low. You will get definitely a lower cutoff in these colleges. Next. So the sixth one is to give preference wisely. So whichever college is of your higher interest, those should be given highest priority. For example, Reva University, Bangalore Computer Science, 21,000 cutoff is my first priority. So I have to give rank one to that. Similarly, RNS Institute, then I have SDMCET, MS Romeo. So whichever colleges you are most interested in, that should be given first priority. Okay, because the option, the KEA will analyze your option entry from top to bottom. Okay, so let me just give you an example. Sudden, uh, just assume that your rank is twenty thousand. Okay. For example, then when the KEA uh, computer system will analyze your option entry, it can see that the first one, its cutoff is 21,000, your rank is 20,000, so definitely you are clearing the cutoff. So the first seat only will be allotted to you. So if you have not kept the seat or kept the choice which is of not your preference, then you cannot change that. Now let me sudden take for example, suppose your rank is 22,400 okay so what will happen the option entry will analyze this one okay here 22,000 you will not get not get not get right these all things will be cancelled yes 22,574 here you are clearing the cutoff so you will be allotted this college getting you will be allotted this college right so that is why you should be giving the First, the one which you are interested in, the what, the colleges and courses where you really want to study, those should be at the top. Okay. So later, what happens if you are at allotted this college in the first round? In the next round, these all options will be deleted. So if you have kept any of your uh, preferred college in this list, that will also vanish. So that is why make sure that you are keeping the best colleges, higher preferred preferred colleges at the top.
okay next we have uh, so just an example of your option entry so suppose my rank is 32000 i have given all those colleges the top colleges which i will not be getting okay so top 20 to 15 colleges i have kept which i won't be getting my what is my assume, assumed uh, rank in this 32000 okay next what i have done next i have given here also some colleges which i won't be getting i have made a list of those colleges after that from here around 15000 are those colleges which are having uh, which i have a high probability of getting okay so from 15000 to up to 29000 okay you can see from this all list okay so these all colleges are those which i have high probability of getting my second type of colleges second list mid colleges then after that I have my uh, yes after this I have my backup options of 32,000 below rank whatever colleges are there I will be definitely getting this so I will mix all of them and prepare my final option entry right so this is how you need to prepare your option entry and your final option entry will be looking like this starting from the low colleges or the high cutoff colleges then you have those colleges which are in the mid range so this is my this is my dream college okay i will not be getting that now here to here i can say this is this three are somewhere in the real reality realistic okay i may get okay and i haven't put the backup options in this list but yes the next colleges whose cutoff is from 32000 and beyond they are my backup colleges right okay so yes and now once you have prepared your option entry you need to put that in the portal and for that also we have two important videos one is how to do registration and for that jasmine ma'am has made a detailed video and next we have step by step process to do the option entry so please first watch these two videos understand the process and then start doing the option entry okay okay so yes students that's all in this video and i hope this video was helpful as well as motivating for all of you to prepare your option entry do not get demotivated with the rank just see the cutoff and make the best option entry for you thank you for watching and if you have any doubt please put down in the comment section